Hi everyone, today we are going to start with one more interesting topic and in which is report portal, right? So this playlist, this series will be completely about report portal, how we can integrate it with different automation frameworks and how it is really useful. So first let us start uh, with the basic introduction to report portal. So it is an open source tool first of all. And as you can see it, it uses AI as well. So how it does that, let me quickly go through that. So it is AI powered test automation dashboard, which kind of aggregate and analyze the test reports to a certain release health, right? So it can store your test results, which you can refer in future as well, first of all. Second, uh, when However, there is a test execution. Suppose there is a failure. You perform some investigation within the report portal due to that why the test case failed, right? And in future, if that kind of failure happens again, it will automatically assign the same investigation to uh, that failure as well, right? So this is uh, one of the main benefit. And then we have several other reasons behind using it as well. Uh, like here it is giving you real-time analytics as soon as test execution is done a launch will be created within uh, Within the report portal right? a launch is something where we have all the information about that particular test execution So one test suit execution can be considered as there is one launch which will be created this launch will have all the information about how many tests are there, how many failed, how many passed. Uh, you can perform the investigation there. It will show you what are the different type of investigation that you have performed. So we'll, we'll see it in action as well. Uh, now let us see the next thing which is test result visualization. So launch is something which is like kind of uh, raw data it will provide you how many tests are there, how many passed, how many failed due to different regions after you've investigation of course like you will provide the region uh, then it will kind of give different type of dashboards that you can create are there there are widgets that you can use within your dashboard there are filters that you can create just like uh, we have Jira dashboard like we create filters right and then we integrate the date like those filters within the dashboard to visualize something so it also provides those kind of dashboards which are really really beneficial for stakeholders to see uh, how the quality of previous executions were how the quality of current test execution is what are the different rcas behind the failures what are the failures that we are have, uh, having within the automation framework right then machine learning as we just discussed uh, it kind of keeps track of uh, what was the past failures and it will kind of assign the investigation to future failures if something new arrives a new type of failures arrives it will most of the time it will only ask you to investigate that if there is a new kind of failure but if the re region of the failure is something which has happened in the past, you have investigated it, it will automatically add that investigation to that particular failure. It is open source, right? As we just discussed. Now, uh, how does it work? Acquiring test result. You can integrate it with different kind of automation frameworks, right? And once your test execution is completed, a launch will be created as we just discussed and it will capture the test result. Now these test results can be kept uh, for future as well as per the configuration that you are going to make. As an admin, you can configure whether you want to keep it forever within your report portal, the launches information or maybe you want to keep it for uh, six months one month two weeks those kind of things can be configured then predictive ai root cause analysis it leverages the ml algorithm to identify pattern in the test results detect the root cause of failures and predict future test results right so that, that's where ai comes in right and then we have AI assisted failure triage assisting the manual review of test logs and new failure pattern for the most recent test execution 
so like keeping the track of what was the RCA what was the region for the previous failure it will help you in assisting the analysis of uh, uh, the execution that you are that are the most uh, recent one right then automated quality gates uh, it kind of helps you in making the decision making the automated decision for release pipeline based on the specific testing criteria and results so we'll see this in action as well right and then dashboard and history as we just discussed it provides uh, various type of dashboards and history you can configure till how much time you want to keep it but that history can also be viewed the trend can be viewed in form of dashboards right so that's all for the basic introduction to report portal and in our next video we'll see how to install it so see you in the next video guys thank you